have you ever configured OpenStack in terms of networking? Any of you, have you looked at how that's done? Okay. It's basically with, you have to create um, networks and subnets, and you have to create a router entity to say, I would like to allow traffic between these two network subnets. So you have Neutron and OpenStack have a specific approach in terms of how you configure networking. In reality, how end users want to use OpenStack for is a lot, uh, all around providing services um, for applications. So I have different services. I want to allow traffic between them. I want no broadcast or multicast. I want scalable. I want all these things. But then you have to translate that to Neutron language so you can go in OpenStack and configure it. So we're back to the paradigm of, well, this is the end goal, but I have to do this to make it work. Group-based policy is saying, I'm going to give you basically a, an open source plugin which is going to sit a tier higher of Neutron and it's going to give a layer of abstraction where you're going to be able to configure OpenStack with this type of language and that abstraction layer, group-based policy, will translate that down to this language for you. Another slide just to show you the concept of what I just said. Group-based policy sits over here. It's an open source project um, within OpenStack. It's, um, there is code obviously posted and um, we have developers, we have a team of 20 engineers that are working on this group-based policy. Um, the idea is obviously to go into either Neutron or into native drivers, for example, Opflex or other ones, to then drill down to whichever environment you have and configure it. So that's the idea is to, um, you know, we've talked about policy for some time with ACI. Um, it's coming in the industry more in general. You see now how it could be also interesting and appealing for Docker. By adding policy also in OpenStack, you basically now will start configuring OpenStack instead of that native way by creating endpoint groups and contracts again, policy. And this doesn't mean you have to use ACI. The group-based policy is on top here. Whatever you use underneath is your choice. Right? So you could use standalone switches with a regular Neutron driver. It will just configure VLANs for you. If you use ACI, however, it just becomes a one-on-par mapping because the policies in ACI, they will be received from group-based policy and they will be exactly the same things. They will match. Similar to the Docker setup. Similar to the Docker setup. It's, it's configured within, within there. Yes. Okay. 